when the first of the month comes around, that usually means rent is due. And according to analysts, rental prices have skyrocketed since last year, impacting people across the U.S., including right here at home. Our Washington, D.C. DC correspondent Rachel Knapp reports on a recent congressional hearing on this issue. Nationwide, median asking rent increased by 17 percent in a single year, but some cities saw rent increases double that. Analysts and congressional members can agree on one thing. The price of renting or owning a home or apartment has gone up in recent months, forcing many to put more than a third or half or even more of their income only on home costs. This is the inflation crisis on steroids. When the price of gas goes up, we can adjust carpooling to work. When the price of food goes up, we can adjust eating out less. But when the cost of housing shoots up, what can families do? They often are already living in the cheapest apartments available. According to Rent.com, the average rental price for a three-bedroom in Erie has gone up $100 more compared to August last year. And according to Zumper, one-bedroom rental prices have drastically fluctuated in Elmira after the pandemic hit. Analysts say the economy, high mortgage rates, and costs of other expenses could be factors as to why prices have gone up. Paychecks are not keeping up with rising prices. But congressional members have some different ideas on how to address this issue. We should scale back the role of government and increase the role of private capital. We should avoid the temptation to adopt new so-called tenant protections or permanent rental assistance that will have negative unintended consequences, including increasing housing costs. We have to expand the supply of safe, affordable housing across the country for renters and homeowners at all income levels. We have to maintain the affordable housing we currently have so we don't fall even further behind on our housing supply. And we have to help renters find and remain in homes they can afford with financial assistance, including emergency assistance. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.